education is such a vital component to your success. And for me, and a never ending first for knowledge is the one thing that I can tell you has taken me to where I'm here today. In this video, I want to tell you the most important element to your success. This is something that comes from my own experience and my own journey, being self-built, not being built by the school system. How did I get to a point of having so much massive success? And I want to talk to you about that in this video. So one of the most undervalued things, understated things out there in the world of success and entrepreneurship is the process of learning, learning. What are you acquiring as information that is going to be something valuable for you to implement in life so you can actually get more success? If you look at every single successful entrepreneur, they have a very, very systematic process for making themselves better. Sometimes uh, people don't understand the power of their minds. I like to use as an example a trash can. This has a limit. At some point, I'm not going to be able to put more trash into it or it's going to get out of control and it's going to overflow and it's going to stain the carpet and it's a mess. That's a trash can. Now, the beautiful thing about our mind is that it has no limit and you can keep on dumping stuff into it. So it's very important for you to determine which stuff you're going to be dumping into it because you can also fill it up with trash that's going to also damage your journey. And, and that's an important element. So I want to tell you about my process for discovering what to learn and who to learn it from. And uh, that's something that, again, I have applied every single year. And it doesn't matter how much I grow, I'm always learning. I prefer to listen to a podcast a thousand times of somebody giving me value than listen to whatever it is that people listen to to get themselves entertained while they're driving. Education is such a vital component to your success. And for me, a and, and never-ending first for knowledge is the one thing that I can tell you has taken me to where I'm here today. So what is that process for me? What does it look like? Before I actually became an entrepreneur, I used to waste a lot of time. I was a nine to five employee and I didn't really care about learning. And you know, whenever I, I left my job, there, there wasn't really like this burning desire to be better or bigger or stronger. I, I had none of that going on. And here's the thing about it. You got to look at what your ambitions are. What is, what is the level of your dreams and what are your goals? Like if you have big dreams and you have all these things that you want to accomplish in life, but at the same time you're binge watching shows and you're doing stupid things and you're wasting your time and you're like playing stupid games and you're doing all those things, then how does that make sense? It doesn't really match what you're trying to accomplish, right? So you're either being hypocritical with yourself or you're just not really understanding what the journey towards accomplishing those goals really is all about. So in order for me to start learning things, I can tell you what I did. I looked around, first of all, we live on the information age. So the information out there is unlimited, meaning that you have incredible, enormous amounts of information available at your fingertips that all you gotta do is search for it and you will find information and something to implement in your life. So sometimes it's a little bit too much. It's like the Netflix phenomenon in which you want to watch a show or a movie, but you spend two hours browsing until you give up and then you watch nothing, right? Because there's so much information out there that you don't know what to consume. So the learning process, what I do is that I look for people that have done it. My obsession is look for people that have been there. I don't want to go listen to a guy or a girl that's on their garage talking about entrepreneurship when they themselves have not done anything. I don't want to go there and follow a guy that posted a picture with a Porsche or a Ferrari or a G-Wagon or whatever that is when they haven't shown me any evidence of having done it themselves. Those are not people that I go after. I don't look to learn from them. What I do recommend that you do is that you spend some time searching around for content and find people that you like in the subject that you're trying to do better at and try to consume that content. So instead of actually having to jump around from content to content, from person to person, do a little bit here, dabble with this speaker, dabble with that one, dabble with that guy, I went and I looked for the guys that were doing it 
that were getting results, that were accomplishing massive things themselves. And I followed these people and I learned from them and I obsessed over them and I didn't stop. From that point on, I just kept on learning from people every step of the way. So always have mentors. You can't just keep on trying to figure out things on your own, but also very important, use mentors that are doing it. So I welcome you guys to go through this process that I've gone through of eliminating your waste of time, auditing what you're doing every single day and getting rid of those things that are not really contributing to your success and to your development. Number one, and once you do that and you're going to find all this time available because it's a lot of time, 24 hours in a day, you sleep six to eight hours, you got eight hours of work. Let's say you have nine to five, you still got another eight hours left. So that's a lot of time. So I invite you guys to use some of those hours in the day intelligently so you can put a lot of information into your mind that's going to increase your possibility of success in life because the, the, the life revolves and success in it revolves around consistent learning and implementation of that knowledge. A lot of people that are great students, they graduated magna cum laude or whatever that is, they're broke as a joke, struggling and miserable because they never executed or what they executed was all wrong and their education is based on falsities. So that's also not applicable, but learning actionable, practical things in this particular world that are applicable to the now, not to the yesterday, and implementing that knowledge via two mentors at most at a time that you can learn things from that, that are doing things every day successfully that gets your mind flowing with ideas that you can implement and then putting the energy to work and busting your energy, trying to get these things executed because now you have more time. That's the key to your success. And I hope that helps you. I hope you help yourself and let me know what you thought about this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.